Hi, this is Charlie giving you Monday's market commentary. I hope you're very well. I'm recording this on Sunday late afternoon, and so um, I don't know what's gonna I'm gonna wake up to tomorrow, Monday, um, today as you're watching this. But I would still say, actually, as of Friday's update, remember Friday I did recording on Thursday evening, and I was looking for a push up on on Monday, which we did indeed have, even though late on Monday we gave it back. Um, it did enable us to have a, a nice push to the upside. And I'd say that the first thing is, I was going to say in this update today, is get your analysis and then stick to your analysis and then wait for your analysis to come true. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. And so if I take us to a five minute chart and then just scroll it back so that we can actually see um, the price action earlier on in the day on on um, on Friday. And as you can see earlier on in the day, so this is uh, 3 a.m. is 8 a.m. our time. And an actual fact, the euro rolled over at this point. Now, obviously, if I'd have had everything lined up, then I would have tried to probably get on the short side there, because there, and certainly there were short setups. But um, but I was looking at the market on on Friday morning and thinking, well, actually, I'd, I'd still rather be on the long side because not everything's lined up as I'd like it to be. So I'm just going to sit this one out for now. And if if everything does then subsequently line up, then I'll I'll get on the short side. And um, but what actually happened is we we turned and that enabled me to to find some lovely entries here on the euro and on the pound as well. So we go to the pound uh, on the long side, um, some nice long side entries on on both of those markets. And so I think that's the first thing is just um, sticking to your your analysis. Once you once you've built some analysis, um, it's really useful to just stick to that, stick to your guns and and wait for the market to set up. If you if you if you have some conviction within your analysis. So the other thing I was going to mention was where's the money to be made um, in these markets, and it's something that at the moment it looks like it's more so in the euro. So if we come down to the average true range, we see that the euro since uh, the August doldrums, which obviously this is August, and obviously this is always delayed the average true range. So as a result of August trading, it came uh, the average true range came really down quite low, down to as you can see down about 80 cents or so, and you see we've picked up to to uh, 100 cents again. So the euro seems to be the slightly better one than the pound. So we take us to the pound markets wise, the pound the average true range is still sitting at around um, about 70 cents. So the, it doesn't mean to say that I wouldn't trade, don't trade uh, the, the pound. But when you, you're looking at where you're getting your bang for your buck, then on average, the euro is offering a little bit more bang for your buck at the moment. So there's the first two things to mention there. Now let's have a look at, um, well, okay, what am I looking for uh, Monday? Well, at the moment, and like I said, I'm, I'm looking at this Sunday afternoon, and I don't know um, how I'm going to, how the market's going to open up when when I log in. But as it currently stands on the daily charts, I still say, well, we gave that back a little bit there. We had a nice little uh, run up, but it wouldn't surprise me if we had another little push up. Uh, another little uh, little uh, attempt to have a little bit of a rally here. I don't know whether the euro is actually going to now um, come up and break these highs just yet or not. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it just wouldn't surprise me. It just the the way the price action is looking. So if I'm seeing on Monday morning, if I'm seeing positive momentum on those hourly time frames again, then I'll probably be looking to hook up uh, to uh, long long play setups. So that's how I'm going to be approaching the euro on Monday morning. That's if obviously I have momentum there. If if it's all rolling over, then I'll gladly and happily uh, get onto the sh onto the short side. Because when you go to the pound, you think, well, actually the pound actually looks a bit more toppy with lots of indecision candles over the last week. So the pound actually looks a little bit bit more toppy here. And actually, if we look at a correlated market, which is the S and P, then the S and P had an appalling week of just sideways price action, and you just don't know which way that's going to go. It could break higher yet. Um, lots of indecision candles coming to the 8-day moving average and then we could still go higher yet. So it's an interesting one to see what the S&P wants to do just yet. Let's go to the weekly chart just to have a quick, another uh, reaffirmation really um, and let's go to the monthly chart and we, we're really not getting too much from what this market is trying to tell us. But what I would say is what I've said many times before, we've got this big move here, then the retrace, then a slightly smaller move, then a big retrace, smaller move again before a retrace and then another smaller move. So far, we really need to push up to see if we're actually going to get um, a bigger move. It just You would think, though, that we're within spitting distance in relative terms of those all time highs. Are we actually going to get up there? Um, I'd still like to think that we, we could still do that, um, but we'll, we'll have to see. So for now. Um, trends up, 
sideways consolidation on the S&P, so um, trend is still up, so uh, we'll look to see if we're actually going to break from there. But the first warning sign would be a break below uh, Thursday's candle here. As regards to the euro, that's how I'm going to be looking to play it in the morning if we do, in fact, start to look good on the intraday's uh, time frames to, um, on Monday morning. Um, other than that, have a fabulous week. Kim will be back on in touch on Wednesday.